Cambridge is really just one of the best places in the world to do classics. We've got our own dedicated library for classics, and we've got the best teaching and research staff uh, anywhere in the country. We've also got a fantastic museum with sculptures, so you can actually go and see the um, casts or the sculptures we're talking about. It's a very special place to teach, and I really enjoy teaching young people who are keen and committed and want to go with the idea of where education might take them. It's really a very kind of multifaceted subject, and I think that's what holds my interest and, and it keeps me on my toes. I think it's been a combination of people just having that confidence in me that I could do it, and then having people who would actually support me in my studies as well and um, financially has just been fantastic and I couldn't have done it without everyone sort of supporting me. Studium, earnest application of one's attention or energies to some specified or implied object. Felix, fruitful, productive, enjoying good fortune, blessed, fortunate. Walking in the cast gallery for the first time was amazing because you get a real sense of how and why things were made and it's interesting to then to compare those sorts of practices to the present day thinking about how we receive these objects and how we use them to find out more about ourselves. There's so much about the ancient languages that can uh, teach us about how modern day languages work. And I think that sensitivity to how languages work and I suppose how to best express myself is going to be really useful for a variety of careers. The faculty and the university are deeply committed to widening access to classics. But we need to get the message out there. We need to tell people in any school in the land that whatever their educational background, they can study classics. We are convinced that the next generation of classicists are not just going to come from uh, a small selection of schools in the country, but coming from everywhere in the land. Dear world, yours, Cambridge.